who thought I'd find the love of my my love of my life and my future wife at the bottom of a slide at King Stanley Leisure Centre. <laughs> Many know Sarah has had her hardships. Words genuinely can't describe the love I have for you. As well as the immense admiration I have for you to have brought up two super kids along the way in tough times. You'll always have me by your side and thank you all again for today, everybody. One I asked myself when I, me and Sarah got together was, was about the kids, something that's obviously been <laughs> mentioned in the other speeches as well. Uh, going into a relationship with a woman with two kids can be tough and there's no doubt about, you know, there's no doubt. Um, I don't want to take any credit for what I'm going to say, but it's been a breeze. Yes, the odd up and down as you expect, but those two beautiful kids sat there are a credit to themselves and to their mother. Marriage is a desire by two people to share themselves with each other and a willingness to accept each other for who they are. Getting married today is a confirmation of the love, respect and friendship you have for each other. Together you will be stronger to face whatever life holds. Before I finish, can you all join me in raising a glass, not only to my wife, but a superb mother, daughter, sister and friend.
wedding day to be given away. So, Reese, if I can ask you, who gives this woman to be married to this man? I do. Just step forward and take your mum's hand. Place it into Jack's left hand. You are here today to witness the joining in matrimony of Jack Samuel Salter and Sarah Louise Jacobs. If any person here present knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage, they should declare it now. Marriage is a desire by two people to share themselves with each other and a willingness to accept each other for who they are. Getting married today is a confirmation of the love, respect and friendship you have for each other. Together you will be stronger to face whatever life holds. Do you, Jack, take Sarah to be your lawful wedded wife, to be loving, faithful and loyal to her for the rest of your life together? I do. Sarah, do you, Sarah, take Jack to be your lawful wedded husband, to be loving, faithful and loyal to him for the rest of your life together? I do. I declare. That I know of no legal reason. That I know of no legal reason. Why I, Jack Samuel Salter. Why I, Jack Samuel Salter. May not be joined in marriage. May not be joined in marriage. To Sarah Louise Jacobs. To Sarah Louise Jacobs. Sarah. I declare. I declare. That I know of no legal reason. That I know of no legal reason. Why I, Sarah Louise Jacobs. Why I, Sarah Louise Jacobs, may not be joined in marriage. May not be joined in marriage to Jack Samuel Salter. To Jack Samuel Salter. Thank you both very much indeed. I, Jack Samuel Salter. I, Jack Samuel Salter. Take you, Sarah Louise Jacobs. Take you, Sarah Louise Jacobs. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I, Sarah Louise Jacobs. I, Sarah Louise Jacobs. Take you, Jack Samuel. Salter. Take you, Jack Samuel Salter, to be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. Well, Jack and Sarah, you've both made the declarations required by law. You've made a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of everyone here today. And it's my very great pleasure to be able to declare you are now lawfully husband and wife, and you may kiss your bride. in the room that have the honour of knowing me. So for the unfortunate ones that don't, it's your lucky day. <laughs> <laughs> my name's Claire and I'm the very proud little sister of this incredibly beautiful bride. And just so there's no favouritism, Jack, you're looking pretty good too. Well, I'm Sarah's mum and Claire's mum. First of all, I think I would really like to say to Reese, well done today for walking oh, your mum yeah. down the aisle. You did her immensely proud. So, hello to everyone. For those that don't know me, I'm Ryan. I'm one of Jack's best men. Danny is the other half. Before I even start, I had a problem this morning when um, we'd literally just got on the motorway, hadn't we? And I turned to you and went, I forgot my speech. <laughs> so I was like, oh. I know that Sarah and Jack have put a lot of effort into planning today and making it a relaxed and enjoyable occasion. And I'm sure you'll all agree with me that it's been absolutely brilliant so far. Jack is probably one of the nicest, most decent young men I've ever met. Um, he's brought so much love, loyalty and strength to Sarah since they've been together. It's been an absolute joy to witness. Let me just start by saying that we can finally all breathe a sigh of relief. Jack's had his dinner, <laughs> so <laughs> we're safe. As I have the honour of giving the first speech, I get to be the first to officially congratulate Sarah and Jack on becoming the husband and wife. I'm shaking my cleaver, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> A 
found myself a little lost on occasion while writing the speech. I wanted it to be perfect, something memorable for both Sarah and Jack. Because the truth is, unlike most sisters, Sarah and I didn't grow up side by side. We're close grown up. As your mum, I've never seen you look more beautiful than you look today. And I've never seen you happier. And to your children, you're so lucky to have your mum and Jack in your lives. And I know that you'll all be immensely happy for the rest of your lives, you two especially. You're just made for each other. For those of you that don't know Jack that well, you'll know that he's been on a bit of a weight loss drive in the past sort of few months leading up to this. And he, he says that he's lost in the region of about nine pounds. But conveniently, that's also the price of the Medimits drill in the local pub. <laughs> so, I was also surprised when I saw the suits for today. I mean, tweed in the middle of August. Probably not the best idea. But then we had a little chat, me and Danny, and we realised that he doesn't need to worry about sweat because the Botox covers that. <laughs> we weren't cro close growing up and only saw each other a few times a year. But when we did, she'd always put up on me like a champ. But that doesn't mean I didn't push my luck sometimes and suffer the consequences. But that's what sisters are for. I haven't been sure really how, for a while how to go about this because um, I do have a tendency to waffle on when I get going. Everyone will know. Um, so I try to keep it as short as possible. We spent so much time having fun and laughs when you came to visit me in Wales at my flat and the weekends that we spent and I know that Jack loves my Sunday humans. <laughs> so Jack, I, I thought the best place to start my part of the speech would be uh, to describe you. Now of course the most reliable source of information for all of this would be you lot, friends and family. So Jack, I wrote down a few words with which some of them used to describe you. And finding anyone who had a bad word to say was almost impossible. Almost. <laughs> Not quite. I found, I found a few. <laughs> so most common were lazy, stubborn and irritating. <laughs> and at first I thought, hang on, that's a bit harsh. <laughs> Maybe not entirely untrue, but certainly a bit much for a best man speech. But if his parents don't know him, then who does? <laughs> Everything changed when we hit our teens though, and when she fell pregnant with Reese, we became inseparable. They say you can't choose your family, but you can certainly choose your best friend, and I was especially proud to call Sarah both. Honestly, I'll always say that Sarah's the strongest of us both, gym sessions included. I'll pretend I'm lifting when she's looking. <laughs> it's that strength and resilience that you have that truly inspires me. Life hasn't always been easy for you and you've fought through difficult circumstances and dealt with some real hardships. But you've overcome every single one of them and become all the more stronger for it. All those experiences have made you the inspirational person that you are today. As a mother to Reese and Holly, as a sister to me, <laughs> and now as a wife to your new husband and my new brother-in-law, Jack. I will openly admit I don't know Sarah as well as I probably should do. But what I do know is that she's an incredibly down-to-earth and kind hide woman who deserves a great husband. Thank God you married her before she found one. <laughs> now all jokes aside, Sarah, of all the compliments I give you, let it be this. I've known Jack both before and during your time. You've been together. And I can honestly say he's a better person now than he's ever been before. And a best friend. As a best friend, that's all I can ask for. My best men, Danny and Ryan. Um, thank you both for the stag do. It was exactly what I wanted, that um, relaxed daytime, chill on the beach, a few beers, and then the mad nights on the strip in Benidorm. I'm not saying anything bad, I'm, th I'm thanking you, all right, come on, man. 
<laughs> I'm lucky enough to have married the love of my life four weeks ago and I know how Jack's failed. On the one hand it's a sense of love, pride and belonging. On the other hand it's a sense of dread at that lifelong commitment you've just made. <laughs> so I don't know, are those rings feeling tight yet? <laughs> Um, but it's been an incredible day. Thank you all for coming here and celebrating this momentous occasion, as Claire said, so, so very well. Um, I am very proud of the woman that you've become and the mother that you are and the sister that you are to Claire. And then know that you'll be an incredible wife to Jack and to your new baby when it is here. <laughs> I know we'll be. <laughs> but honestly, I've been lucky enough to know Jack a long time before Sarah. We're not here to talk about his past mistakes, we're here to talk about his biggest success. I think everyone here can see the special relationship Jack shares with Holly and Reese shows to everyone all the proof that is needed that Jack and Sarah truly belong to be together. And on that note, I'd like you all to be upstanding, please. And we'd like to raise the glass yeah. to Jack and Sarah. Sarah. Lifetime of happiness together. Jack and Sarah. Jack and Sarah. Now finally onto the beautiful bride. I can finally call my wife and what a bird. <laughs> <laughs> I'll end my speech by raising my glass <laughs> <laughs> to Sarah, Jack, Reese, and Holly. I wish you the very best wherever the road takes you. You'll be surrounded with love, laughter, and me because I'm not going anywhere ever. <laughs> to the new Mr. and Mrs. Salter. Cheers. <laughs>
So I'm extremely pr proud of how strong you have been to deal with that on a daily basis with a smile on your face. You've got the married life down already with your generosity, kindness and patience, but that just shows how much you love her and you'll do anything you can to make her happy. You're a man of your word, reliable, an incredible role model to Reese and Holly, and a truly valued member of our little gossip group. <laughs> Most importantly though, you're simply the perfect husband for my sister. In life we are never promised anything, but what I can promise you, Jack, is that Sarah will love you unconditionally every day. Whatever life throws at you, whatever challenges you may have to face, never forget to check your side because she will always be right there, just as she always has been for me. You're both worthy of all the love in the world and I just can't express how happy I am that you've both found that in each other. Anyone can be passionate, but it takes a real solid couple to be able to be silly and laugh together every day. Never be afraid to let their guard down and show their vulnerabilities. And most importantly, always support each other through thick and thin. Together, you're just two of the most wonderful people I know. And I know that <laughs> I love that I get to witness your joy alongside you and be a part of it because that's family and Jack, you're a part of this family now. So bringing it back today, Sarah, I see the way Jack looks at you. I see the way Reese and Holly look up to you both. All of that love makes me so proud to call you my sister, so proud to call Jack my brother-in-law, and especially proud to be part of this momentous occasion in both your lives. Tell me things you've never said out loud. Just try and go there if you can. Show me the parts of you you're not that proud of I wanna know I'm just a man How have you know that I have good and bad days? Come on now love, don't be naive Lay out our cards and you'll see all my mistakes Well, I don't mind where you're with me When have I fallen? Am I crawling on my knees? Say out loud Cause I 